piling on. You know, when do you make that, that decision? When do you either go for the complete left field option? Um, you know, so, you know, he has time, but it's limited time. It is limited time, and actually we've seen a variety of different play styles throughout this tournament, which is quite surprising. With just four players, um, you can sometimes have very similar play styles happen, especially when it's an invitational. But regardless, we, we dive into this grand final now, but it is going to be both comfort picks yeah. picked by both players. So again, Africa immediately trying to shut down that space and running straight into the aggression of Rubs in this opening game. And God, just getting that counter, and here comes the combos. Does drop it there, phases back immediately, though. Long range. Leaf Blade, just to get some damage back onto Rubs. Great detect usage as well, getting some nice damage here. Trying to follow up these combos, but drops it. I'm liking this from Afro Kami. He, he notices what went wrong when he played Rubs before, when he was constantly going for those jump attacks. He was being punished by Juggles. Instead, he's going for a lot lower attacks, going for ground attacks now, trying to keep distance, trying to get in on the face of Rubs and not allow those Juggles to happen. Yeah. This poison, what poison rain it looks like. <laughs> okay. Pachirisu being used there. Just so much damage from Rubs, and Afro Kami just seems to have no answer for it as well. He does able to jump over that. That was really nice substitute. They're using the substitute just to get out of that, 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 that scenario, and now he's following up this combo. Will he, you know, just trying to find a way back in? It's really, really good. Using those burst seeds, or the bullet seeds there, just, just to kind of the interesting. Wow, he gets it back! He catches him out on that movement round. Yeah, Afro Kami, he was down very low, but he somehow pulled that one back. A great dodge, a great evasion there from Afro Kami to keep in this one. And now he has the lead over Rubs. What I think is really nice about um, the way he kind of did this is that although, you know, when I mentioned that uh, the Bullet Seed does miss that target, kind of drop the combo, they can be great. They're in the ground, you can grow them out and cause, you know, a follow up. You know, the pressure is still on. They have to be in guard when they get back up, which is very, very nice. Again, the substitution for the cross up. Then again, the combo coming out from Afro Kami, looking very inspired and very confident now. Rubs once again is down, but Afro Kami trying to do damage, but he unfortunately gets caught. Again by Rubs. Rubs hasn't had the same juggle ability that we saw earlier on in the winner's bracket, but he is still emitting a crazy amount of damage when he does connect with those shots. Wow, well, going for that, uh, the, the reverse um, shutdown there, but again, the pressure's good, but I think Avrakami is just getting a bit more of that knowledge of the overall spacing he needs to really deal with Darkrai. Rubs is just stuck against this wall here, and damage is just coming in from Afrokami, chipping away. Down to just one HP now, Rubs. Can he avoid it? Uses Burst just to get a little bit of health back here. Does throw some projectiles to try and stay alive. But 17 seconds, 15 seconds, he needs to make the move. But Afrokami is going to use a burst of his own to try and get back into this one. Try and finish it off. He can't quite find that damage. Yes, that grab right now. This is really important because we do have that the, the burst stack still available for both players. There he goes, Jai. Does he get the catch on him? He goes straight underneath him. The, Anyway, currently it's the driving seat in the favor of Rubs. Rubs to the head, just one second as well. That should be over, but did he can't find it? Now, Afrokami, wow. Afrokami down to one HP, but regardless, time's up anyway. So we are 1-1 one, one in this first game. It's best of three as well, confirmation, okay, confirmation. In, the, in the final. But of course, uh, Rubs, if he wins the best of three, he wins. But Afrokami will have to win two best of threes to win this grand final. Nice, just catching that movement forward from Rubs his dark right. This seems the polar opposite from what we saw in winner's bracket as well. It seems Rubs was actually going for the jumping aerial attacks and being punished every single time for it. Afro Kami has really switched up his playstyle and Rubs is struggling to actually keep up with it. This is very, very solid work so far from Afro Kami. Gets that grab again. Yeah, he's using this, this detect, just getting, like, finding where he's landing, the general jump arc that, he's, that Rubs is looking for. There's a nice cross-up again, gets behind him, tries to follow up the pressure on the wall, but again, another cross-up immediately from Afro Kami. The HP getting very low. Can he take his first game? The wall bounce. A moment of respite, potentially. There's the detecting hang. Goes immediately. There's so much pressure on that shield, but the counter coming out from Rubs. The damage is huge. This is insane. He was down to just one HP. He does manage to regain a little bit. Back up to 38 now, and he's well and truly still in this. We've seen it happen before previously in this tournament, but we're down to just 20 seconds as well. And no, he goes for it, but he should be able to counter he here. And that burst attack. He will gather him up in the vines and finish and seal this first game. Afro Kami taking game one.
over rubs. Now, I mean, of course, it's cliche to say it's the perfect start that he needed, but it really was. If he has any chance of winning this grand final, he really needs to take it to rubs here. And it seemed like he learned a lot from that winner's bracket final matchup that we saw previously as well. He very much knew what the game plan was going to be from rubs. He was avoiding those aerial attacks. He was keeping a, a nice distance and not jumping himself. That was the big thing. Mm. I saw a lot of aerial attacks on winner's bracket final coming out from Afro, and he was being punished every single time for it. So yeah. he clearly learned his lesson. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that adaptation is to know what isn't and what is and isn't working. But our players are back into this next game. Um, so early kind of lead, I guess, for Afro. Yeah, Afro getting the early damage in yet again, which is completely opposite to what we saw in the winners' bracket finals. Rubs down to just half HP now, but still Afro can be putting on the pressure. Rubs having to block all these leaves flying here, there, and everywhere at the moment, and he's just running away. Rubs isn't able to go on the front foot, but finally tries to put some damage in on his own. But Afro Kami really has, is in the driving seat. Rubs is going to make an attempt to get back into this game now as well, pulling him in. You know. Pressurizing that shield as well. Now facing back with these dark spheres. Goes for the, the dimension break and gets caught again. Here comes the combo from Afro Kami. Can he get what he needs? The wall bounce into field phase. Umbreon again gonna push back and it does, does connect as well and does a good chunk of damage to Afro. Oh, I mean, to be fair, at this point, all it needs is one, one big connection. Doesn't follow up where he needs to. Yeah, Rubs using his HP to his advantage here. He knows Afro Kami's going to be a little bit desperate. He knows he's going to be diving in, but he's constantly blocking, waiting for the right moment to pounce. And there we go. He's down to 16 HP now. Afro Kami, that's 12. Well. Rubs in. Nice attack. Three. Three HP, but just two seconds left as well. He just needs to stay away, and it should be time up, which it is. And there we have it. Rubs ties this one up. One to one in this second round. Okay, so round two of this second game now. <laughs> just, I think what we haven't seen as well, we haven't seen too many of these dark metals that we're seeing a lot of. I think it's just because of the ferocity and the speed in which um, Afro is deciding to move now. It's making it harder for Rub to really gain control that he needs to put those zones down. Every time Rub seems to find himself with the back to the, the wall, quite literally here, Afro Kami is clearly going for a game plan as he wants to just trap him and then put in the, the chip damage. But can Rub do exactly what he did last? game. He was so far behind, but was able to have a perfect comeback. Just catching that movement forward, but the, the burst being used now going into that one, and currently Rubs does not have too much burst meter, which is nice, which means that there's a lot of uncontested burst time coming out from Sceptile. Conf oh, just confuses. Conf uh, just pushes himself forward and wins that one with a nice combo. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, nice combo. Now it's 1-1. One, one. That's yes. what I meant. Final That's round. Right, nice I one. couldn't see the yellow dot on oh, the yeah, side yeah. of the screen. That's but there we have it. Rubs, tied up 1-1. One, one. If Afrokami takes this, he does reset the bracket and those L's will be coming down on both sides of those player names. And it'll be all to play for there. Rubs looking to get back to this grand final and take it before that reset happens. And as you, and as you mentioned, Afro really does have that momentum from that loser's run for him. Rubs once again backed off into this wall, but I love that from him. He instantly knows what Afro Kami's trying to do, so he rushes out and makes sure that's not going to happen. And now he's the one on the offensive. He's the one pushing the damage. This is the same Rubs we saw in the winner's bracket, and he's getting that juggle, but he whiffs a little bit. But the Leaf Blade coming out of that counter gets Ghost for the Detect, finds him. And that command grab happening there. Again, these are these are the uh, bullet seed growth that is kind of causing, even if he does miss, Ghost for a nice grab there. Dark Rai. Good damage, close down that space, has that gravity shield, just waiting. Afro Kami down to just 98 HP, down to 67. Now Rubs is just having his number, he's avoiding every single leaf that is thrown at him at the moment, and finally dashes in to finish off Afro Kami, and we're tied up at one to one. I am being told, I have confirmation, it's actually gonna be a best of five grand final. There will be no bracket reset regardless, so it is just a straight out best of five okay. for this grand final. So that's what we need to see. We need to see one of the teams, one of the players, sorry, win three games and they will move on and they will be the champion here. Our players being told there, so just having to adjust to that change in structure. Of course, live here at EGX, there is time that we have to abide by as well.
before everything closes here. The last thing we would want is players playing in front of an empty crowd. Of course, people here at EGX can come and watch as long as it's still open, of course. So best of five, tied up one to one. And now this is where it comes down to. Who can deal with the pressure better? Is it going to be Rubs or is it going to be Afro Camp? see how it, how it goes that is going to be a bit of a change uh, to their mindset of course you know that the the conventional things that they're used to in their tournament have been changed so how does that affect, affect the gameplay they do get that, that that best of five however which does um, you know allow them to kind of play you know know that the, this game isn't the be-all and end-all there is still that second lifeline just in case but um afro kami taking that first game a much better bring back from rub bring back, brought back that second game again well done by rub so you know it's good to not go down 2-0 in this scenario and meanwhile just look at the amount of damage that afro kami is putting out onto rubs again he keeps pushing him back on into this wall can we see any sort of comeback from rubs oh he gets lifted up in the air and the damage is there so nice, yeah, using that retreating um, um, aerial attack into the landing uh, detect. Very, very nice, holding rubs in shield and then immediately getting that detect grab. Yeah, we need to see something different from rubs here because Afro Kami really knows the game plan that he's going for. And we know that rubs is capable of a lot with his dark ride. Mm. Detect is really working nicely for Afro Kami here. Again, he's just being pushed back into this wall and attack after attack. The chip damage seems too much for Rubs and the blocks aren't going in as well as he thought it would. That was a little bit hasty. The shield was already there. Goes for that aerial grab though. For huge damage from him. This is, again, fantastic for Afro Kami. He takes it. He will be in pole position. He does 2-0. He takes it 2-1 over Rubs now. And now what a dramatic turn of events this is. Afro Kami suddenly becomes the favorite for this grand final. 2-1 up, he just needs one more match win to take this whole tournament. But on the side of Rubs, we know he's capable of a lot. We saw how he performed in the winner's bracket. Can he do the same to come back from behind here? A position that granted he wouldn't have expected to be in. And I do sympathize that the players have had to change ever so slightly. But sometimes compromises do need to be made and you need to adapt to situations. There is those nettles kind of catching um, Scepter on the way down, allowing him to extend a little bit more. Grab comes out from Afro Kami to get some nice damage in, takes the HP lead in this early part of the game, gets another grab out. That pressure again on the wall, really important. Shifting faith into dual faith, immediate detect that push forward from Rubs. Very, very nice from Afro Kami. The bullet seed, the growth, the pressure on the shield. He jumps out and he gets that grab immediately, anti air that grab. Afro Kami once again is just pushing Rubs all the way away from where he would want to be in the middle of this arena. Instead, he keeps getting forced back to that shield on the back. But now we see Rubs actually putting a little bit of damage. He's got Afro Kami down to half HP. And you can see both players slowing this down a little bit here. Okay, here are the jugglers coming out that we know we've seen them fall. Oh, and there we go, catches. Just that space above immediately pushes forward and knocks him up into that, sh into the nettles and the pressure now on that shield is important and he gets that catch there. Okay, Rubs. so now we're seeing better stuff from Rubs. As you said, the juggles coming back into play. Maybe Afro Kami let his guard down a little bit. Maybe forgot about the game plan earlier from Rubs. Needs to be careful as we are 1 1 in this fourth match. 1 0, sorry, in this fourth match. No worries. No worries, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, Rubs. Again, it's back and forth. These consistent, minute adaptations from both players, different approaches that are just causing. You know, this is this is kind of what it looks like. You know, you have these minute changes that make big differences, and both players having to kind of respond to those changes as quickly as they can. Speaking of responses, look at this from Rubs. He's got the juggles once again. Afro can be down to just 65. Okay, he's back up to 100 now. He's he's getting a little bit of HP restored. He's instantly yeah. on the back foot. Coming from that burst, he just has that HP restore, yeah. Get, gets cat, gets caught, catched, caught by the Umbreon again. The Detect comes out. The damage is going to start coming in. He's got a little bit of time left on this burst. Does he get the, uh, the Ultra out? He does not, I think. There it is. Caught, catch, dip, dodged, dived. <laughs> We've seen everything from Rubs in the moment. Dodge, dump, dip, dive, and dodge. Yep, and he's trying to survive here. As Afro Kami's down to just 20 HP. This is completely different from Rubs now. It seems like he's... This is doable now. Look at that up. huge hit. 35, 36, 40 HP. It has the HP lead now. Very doable for Afro Kami. He gets it with one HP remaining. 
unreal stuff there. Both players so low, but Afrokami manages it in the end to tie up this fourth round one to one. If Afrokami wins this round, he will win the whole grand final. Rubs needs this to survive. This is match point now for Afrokami. Rubs, after having such a strong lead, having it taken that away from him completely, goes for that aerial grab again. Nice decision making there. The attack decrease coming into Septile, however. Goal closes in, very nice. Jumps up, avoids the detect, the, the gap closer, the grab. Afrokami has the early lead once again. Goes to the burst, he's gonna push it, but we see a counter burst from Rubs now. So both of them looking for a little bit of extra damage. They're both being a little bit hesitant here. They don't want to dive in, they don't want to give anything easy away. Of course, Rubs is gonna be the one more hesitant. He's got more to lose in this situation. Oh, he, he, he... That was really, really nice coming out of Afro Kami. Will that be enough though? That is the question. The burst attack is out. The vines, they grow, they encamp encapsulate, and they finish it. Afro Kami! Enough damage taking the grand final set. 3 1 over Rubs. A huge turnaround from that winner's finals where Rubs put Afro Kami in the bin, in the loser's bracket. And Afro brings it all the way back with an incredible burst attack there. Yeah, what a story that is for Afro. Coming back from the loser's bracket, but then still winning in the grand final. Wow, unfortunate for Rubs. Uh, of course, we had a last minute change as well in the situation. I think both players are friendly enough. They can have a laugh. They can have a joke about it. But regardless, we've seen some excellent pocket here today. I've been extremely impressed. I wonder if the guys on the stage have been extremely impressed. Let's find out from the man himself, Adam Savage. Thank you very much, fellas. We've had our grand final. We have ourselves a winner. Commiserations firstly, though, to Rubs. I'm going to hand you this runner-up trophy there. Commiserations to you. You fought valiantly today. But we do have ourselves a brand new champion. Afro, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling ecstatic. Like, I, I didn't expect to win, but I overcame and won. And how much are you enjoying the brand new Pokémon Tournament DX? Are you loving this on the Switch now? Oh uh, Yeah, I love the game. I enjoy it and I... I want to get the game on the Switch and play online and wreck everyone else online. Just keep on killing. Well, I'm proud to present you with your winning trophy. Would you please make some noise for Afro Kami? He is your Pokken Tournament Champion. Thank you guys so much for watching and to have a wonderful evening. Let's go back over to Dan and to the desk and find out where you guys made it up. Final match of the series. Thank you very much, Adam. Yeah, I mean, what did you make? of that final series then, a great performance from Afro. Yeah, we, we saw I mean, these consistent back and forth adaptations and I just think it was the, those minor ones that um, Afro made in each game to kind of keep taking you know, the rounds that he needed. Um, the amount of times that he was here had his backs against, I mean, back, backs, multiple backs? I mean, can you have multiple backs? But his back against the ropes and then just kind of found these little niches where he could just get in and really pressurize Rubs. Um, Rubs had control a lot of the time, but I think he didn't have that zone control that he had in that first winner's finals. Yeah. You know, I was mentioning, you know, kind of like locking down options and really kind of just outputting the damage that he needed to. And it was really good work from Afro just to kind of open up his response with so many more options. It really was a shame in the end to see Rubs fall, but Afro is going to be the champion of this Pokken Invitational here at EGX, but that's all we've got time for. Thank you so much for joining us, of course, from myself, from Bowie, from Adam Savage, from all of the production crew of Nintendo as well. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you next time. Take care.